Hi everyone, my name is Rosa and I'm a Youth Services Librarian at the Dufferin Clark Public Library. I might look familiar to some of you as I run the Reading Buddies and Born to Read programs at that branch. Today, I'm gonna to share with you an activity that demonstrates how clouds are made by making our own clouds in a jar. I learned this activity from a blog called A Gift of Curiosity, which will be linked down below. This activity includes making water vapor and then providing a particle source for the water vapor to condense on. In nature, some examples of these types of particle sources would be dust, pollen, air pollution, smoke, etc. For this particular activity that I'm doing today, we will be using hairspray as a particle source. The materials that I'm going to be using for this activity are a jar with a lid, some hot water, ice cubes, and hairspray. So I've already prepared for step two of this activity by turning over the lid of the jar and placing the ice cubes on top of it, just like this, so that we can just place it on top of the jar when the time comes. So the first thing we're gonna do is pour the hot water inside of the jar and then swirl it around the sides of the jar to make sure that all sides of the jar get warmed up. Then we're gonna take the lid with the ice on top and put it on top of the jar and rest it there for about 20 to 30 seconds. So after about 20 to 30 seconds, you're going to remove the lid and quickly spray some hairspray inside the jar and replace the lid and watch the clouds form inside of the jar. When you see a good amount of condensation form inside the jar, you can remove the lid and then watch the cloud escape into the air. This is a great science activity that shows kids how clouds are created. For more information on this activity from the blog that I learned it from, please see the link provided below. And don't forget to be social with us. Share your videos doing these activities with us using the hashtag BPL at home. Until next time, please stay safe and goodbye.